Greetings and salutations. Uh, this is Derek with Taylor Whips, and today I wanted to talk about this set of five foot stock whips that I made back in 2019. Uh, they are my daily use set for performing at Renaissance fairs, and they have been my favorite whips ever since I made them. And I was doing some maintenance on them yesterday. Uh, they, as you might be able to tell, are no longer true white, uh, but are a uh, kind of a, a grody, uh, grayish green. Uh, that's mostly become, because I've used them in every situation you can imagine. Uh, snow, dirt, clean grass, dry grass, uh, all of the above. And mostly have just abused the heck out of these whips. And they've taken it like champs, which has been awesome, but uh, they're, they're no longer the perfect whips that they once were. And so yesterday I tried to clean them off as best as I could and I re-waxed them. Uh, but that caused uh, the, the whip handles to no longer be the same. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell which one is which, but this one here um, has the, the issue. And the issue is that whatever was holding the heel knot together now has given way. Totally, totally off. It's just dangling there in a very sad, sad way. They're uh, not supposed to do that. And I know that this came because I didn't put staples in the heel knot foundation. I made these in the first three months of my whip making career. And so it was uh, an oversight on my part and something that I have done on all of my whips ever since. Gratefully, it's an easy enough fix. I'll just rebind this area, use staples to make sure that nothing shifts again, and then I will retie the knots. I am a big believer that a whip should not just last for a little while, but it should last a long time. Um, everything that I do, I try to overbuild and make it overly tough so that um, things and failures of this sort don't happen. Uh, no matter how well it's bound off, unless there's something mechanical holding that um, foundation down, if subjected to enough heat or enough stress or enough uh, wear and tear over time, uh, things can fail because those can come entirely off and uh, that's a failure that I don't think is acceptable in my work. Whips do fail, and sometimes they fail spectacularly, um, but uh, a well-made whip should withstand the, the test of time. And I learned by this what that test of time looks like. I well, appreciate you sticking around, and I'll see you on my next adventure.